The last step is to mix down the music to a single stereo audio file so that anyone can play it on consumer level audio software or hardware. In this exercise, you'll bounce the project to a stereo audio file. By first selecting all your regions, you avoid the need to manually adjust the bounce start and end positions. So in the tracks area, I'm going to close the mixer. I'm going to turn off my light loop cycle. I'm going to turn off my solo function and I'm going to choose edit and select all. Or I can press Command A. And now in the main menu bar, I'm going to choose File, Bounce, and I'm going to choose Project or Section. There's a shortcut for that, which is Command B. Command B. And now I'm going to deselect, if it's not already selected, Yours will probably be selected, but mine's selected to MP3. So select MP3, just hit that checkbox. And below the destination box, notice that the end position is correctly adjusted to the end of bar 19, where the last note finishes. And that's because you selected all the regions in your workspace at the beginning of this exercise. So once you've done that, you can now hit OK. And then a bounce dialog will open and the bounce will then create a new stereo audio file on your hard drive as an MP3. If you're if you've not already been uh, if you're not already navigated to the desktop, of course, if you remember, you can hit command D and that will navigate to the desktop so you can bounce directly onto your desktop and mine song is called QWERTY after the name of my session so now if I press bounce what will happen is that will create a stereo mp3 on my desktop which I can now drag into Dropbox or WhatsApp or WeTransfer and share a stereo copy of my track.